I've got to tell you, today was, ah, today was awesome. Today I actually began something I've never done before, and I am, ah, ready for it. Last week, I made the commitment, and I hired this this guy, this amazing guy who's who's taking this world on and, and creating impact. And I hired this guy to be my life coach. This amazing guy, his name's R.M. Dozier. Phenomenal guy. And for a while, I sit there and I thought about it in my head. Do I want to do this? Do I really, you know, how bad do I want it? And I thought, if I don't do this, if I don't take this coach on, if I don't take this amazing guy, am I going to regret it? And right then, that's when I thought, if I don't do this, I'm going to be 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, and there's going to be a regret up there. Plus, if I don't do something like it, if I don't take it on, if I don't do it, I'm giving up. How can I say, or how can we say as people, that we really want something, and when an opportunity comes, we say, I don't have enough money, or I just don't have the time, or, you know, I, I, I don't feel good. Man, I want it. And I want it for you. Whatever your opportunities are that are coming at you, don't put them to the side. Don't put them to the back burner and say, I'll get it later. I'll put it on the top shelf. I promise I won't forget about it. Because what happens? We forget it's on the back burner and we burn it up to the point we can't eat it. We put it on the top shelf and we put it to the point that we can't do anything with it because it's set there for too long and gone bad. And one thing that I had with this, one of the things he asked me, he says, what do you want in life? And he says, the one thing. And here I am, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, okay. I told him what I wanted to do. I said, you know, I want to I want to impact others. I want to have kids be creative and not be afraid to be creative as adults. And I want to inspire teens and, and people who have struggled in life to look at me and know that they can do it. And then he asked me something a little further into our, our video conference. He said, tell me one thing, one thing that you want this week. And as I sat there and I thought, I knew he had me. My mind was opened up to a new possibility, that a new level that I wasn't thinking of. And after he asked me that, he gave me two, maybe three seconds before he went, tell me what you want, Levi, come on. And I sat there in my mind and I thought, this is what I want. I want held accountable. I want somebody that's going to go, come on. And I think we all need that in life. We need that person that's just uh, getting at us. Because the reality is, if one person can be that person, we can be that person to someone else. It is not impossible. Impossible simply means I'm possible. He gave me some things to do over the next couple weeks. And I'm going to do it. It's already done almost. In my mind, it's done. It's not going to be a maybe. It's not going to be, well, I'll try to get to it. It's done. Some other things that he had me commit to, had me say to my mouth, took the first step in committing to it today. It's going to take me a few days to get more of it done. It's a long process, but something in my life is going to get retooled and restructured. Got to do it. Got to do it because I want it. If I don't want it, I need to get off the road and let somebody else drive. But that's just it. I ain't getting off this road. I'm on it, and I'm all in. And I loved having somebody look at me and go, Come on, what do you want? I loved it. And I want to encourage you, whatever it is, what do you want now? Not next month, not next year. What do you want now? If you're afraid of posting a video because of what somebody's going to say, then don't post it. But I want to ask you, can you live with the regret of not posting that video or applying for that job or going to school for that degree? Can you live with that? I can't live without doing what I want to do. I consider myself a creative luminary. 
as a children's author, as a self-improvement author, as a speaker, as a columnist. That's me. And there's some things coming up. I'm getting ready to go do my very first 5K run with my oldest son this Saturday. I'm going to go there and do video. Scared to death. Don't care. Going to do it. It's happening because up here it's already done. Me and my son are going to crush this 5K. We're going to do the best in us that we can. And we're going to have a good time doing it. And I'm going to do videos chronicling it. Because that's what I want. When you want it, go get it. It's as simple as that. You guys take care. Have a great day. See ya.